for high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe. VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, <laughs> your prayers are answered. <laughs> Go to Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com, and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Yeah, for the end zone. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going, and it is gone. From the cross to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you. Vibe. And we're back here at East Metro Park. Looks like they were getting just about ready to get this one started here. In a, a overcast, sunny Saturday afternoon here. As we have uh, Giddings High School versus East, excuse me, Maynard New Tech High School against Giddings High School. Looks like Giddings will start off at bat. Very excited to call this one again. A very cloudy, mild, sunny day here at uh, East Maynard. New Tech High, so should be a good one. Looks like the pitcher for Maynard New Tech, number nine, to be Matthew Ruiz at the mound. Getting some practice in before the game starts up. Read the rosters off to you, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. So, number nine, we got Matthew Ruiz here at pitching. Darius Stewart, Daniel Alden, Caden Easley, Braylon Thomas, and Andrew Cyphers, Malachi Mathis, Alex Silva, and Jonathan Maldonado. For your Maynard New Tech. Still talking it over with the um, scorekeepers. 
asking what the delay is about, but should be starting off shortly. For Giddings Baseball, we have Holden Jatsu, Chase Altman, Cameron Page, Zach Page, Blaine Fritcher, Corbin Doobie, Bryson Kleiner, Jacob Marshall, Cole Mertink, and Luke Liner. And it looks to be first at bat is going to be Holden Jatsu for Giddings Baseball. So we're just about ready to get started here. Giddings, Holden Jatsu, number two. Holden looks to get us ready to go. The uh, strike on the first pitch of the game by Matthew Ruiz. So it's a good start for him. Gonna be a ball on that one. Ball and a strike. Another strike. So one ball, two strikes. Hit up, and it's gonna be a foul ball that goes over the over the gates here. That was a that one went soaring. We got two balls, two strikes. That's gonna be a ball and a and a walk. So that's uh, Jatsu Holden. I mean, excuse me, Holden Jatsu. It's gonna walk for the single and we go at bat number 15, Chase Altman. That's going to be Jasu with the stolen base there after the missed pitch by Matthew Ruiz. So, Giddings has one on second. Here's the pitch. Hit up. It's going to be a fly ball. Center midfield. Center field. Caught. For the out. Caught by center field fielder Matthew, excuse me, Malachi Mathis forces the out on that one. So one out for Giddings gets first out on Giddings. We go at bat. Uh, be Cameron Page. Excuse me, Zach Page, excuse me. Getting with a man on second. Ja That's going to be Jatsu uh, with another stolen base. Man, he's stolen two bases. 
to start this one. And he finds himself on third base after hitting a single. Two stolen bases. So he's gonna look to bring it home. That's that's gonna be a soaring ball to left field. Over the that's gonna be a home run. Home run's gonna give getting a 2-0 lead. That'll give them a 2-0 lead to start this game. So a 2-0 lead for Giddings off, off the home run hit by BU, Zock. So wow, what a start. What a start there for BU, Zock. Number 21 for Giddings gives them a 2-0 lead after the home run. Home run sends Jatsu home and Zock as well. So not a bad way to start this one. One out. That ball had some range on it. Went over the over the over the back fence on left field, left center field, and So, Giddings with a 2-0 lead here early in the first, the top of the first, after the home run by B.U. That one flying toward left field. Up next, uh, getting ready to swing for Giddings is Blaine Fritcher, number 12. As he gets ready to, as he gets loose. Matthew Ruiz remains at the mound. Blaine Fritcher at the at the here at bat as the wind picks up here at East Metro Park. pitch. That's going to be a ball on that one. So we got three balls, no strikes. And strike one there, pitched by Matthew Ruiz. going to be a ball number four and that's going to be a walk a walk for Blaine Fritcher next at bat for Giddings we have to be Corbin Doobie number 11 Jossie tries to catch Fritcher off the base unable to do so Throws it to first base again, trying to get Jatsu out of position and just unable to do so. So again, this is Corbin Doobie for Giddings 
at bat. It's going to be a ball on that one. And there goes Flitcher going, running. He gives a, he's going to get a double and run to third after the miscommunication there on the pitch by Matthew Ruiz. Ball too low, and Fritcher was able to steal two bases there. So he finds himself on third base after hitting a single. Oh, this one's going to be launched up by Doobie. Doobie got all of it in that one, and it's going to be caught. It's going to be caught, but a run's going to come in. That's that's Fritcher comes in to make it a 3-0 lead for Giddings. Yeah, Giddings, they're, they're getting everything they want out of these pitch, I mean, out of these hits, excuse me. That one flying down right field. But the outfielder able to make a play on it. They got a 3-0 lead for Giddings. At bat, we have uh, Bryson Kleiner, number nine. Hit up. Should be a foul ball there. Foul ball on that one. Should be a ball on that one. be a ball another ball and a walk so it'll, it'll be Bryson Kleiner it's gonna get the walk here so man who takes fi finds himself down 3-0 here top of the first two outs up at bat next we have a uh, Jacob Marshall number seven He tries to get him, tries to catch Bryson Kleiner off the, off the, off the first base and unable to get him. It's going to be a ball. So we're going to get a quick timeout here by Maynard Nutek. They want to talk it over. So we will take a pause in the action as well. Again, this is Vibe Live. Top of the first, 3-0 lead for Giddings. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information. So after the quick talk over, uh, we're back. Coach just wanted to talk to his pitcher. Thank you all for tuning in again. This is on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Slight wind. We've had a little bit of sun here, but not much. It's a very beautiful day to be playing baseball. It's going to be another ball there by Ruiz. 
for those just joining us, uh, Giddings up 3-0 after the home run by BU Zock. Gonna see, it's gonna be a. Uh, looks like Klein is gonna steal another base there and get to the second. So. There's a hit. Line drive. Oh, can't corral it. Can't corral it, and it's going to be a, a single there by Jacob Marshall. Man, a new take just not able to corral that line drive hit. Couldn't pick it up. Cost him a, a, a single. So, man on third, man on first base. Man on first, man on third. Two outs. And it's going to be another stolen base here for Giddings. They've been really been the, the story of this game thus far other than the home run. Uh, a lot of stolen bases for the Buffaloes. Oh, here's a hit on left field, and that's going to bring a run home. Oh, he can't pick it up. It's going to bring two runs home for Giddings. Take it a 5-0 lead. It's going to make it a 5-0 lead as two come home. Off the hit by Cole Mertink. To the left, to the line drive toward left field brings in two runs for the Buffaloes. They get a 5-0 lead here. First, oh, that's gonna that pitch is gonna be a it's not a good pitch there, and it's gonna result in another stolen base. Again, really the story, this, this the top of this uh, first inning just. Ball's getting away from East Manor New Tech and it's causing them as far as stolen bases. It's a good pitch. It's going to be a strike and a foul. Good pitch there by Ru Ruiz. And two outs here. Maynard Utek desperately trying to get a chance at bat. It's going to be a low one. And another stolen base here. Brings a man to third base. Cole Merching on third base. Again, two outs. Luke Liner, Luke Liner, excuse me, on the at here at bat. Could be another foul ball. Two outs, two strikes. Let's see if Ruiz can make a play here. This will be a crucial. A crucial out. It's going to be a ball. Oh, that's going to be hit straight in the air. Deep down center field. That's going to be caught for the out. Call for the out, so the score remains 5-0 as we go to the bottom of the first here at East Metro Park. So, we'll 
we'll go to the bottom of the first. This again, this is Vipe Live. Vipe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VipeBYPE.com. Vipe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13. Not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God. to Vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vipe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Downs for the end zone. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vipe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vipe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vipe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vipe Sports. B-Y-P. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. back here bottom of the first getting with a 5-0 lead here they had a, a great top of the first and everything working in their favor thus far so the first pitch oh that's a good hit there oh that's gonna be a catch and out hit made by Matthew Ruiz just gonna be caught straight straight down center field it's gonna be caught for the outs so quick out there for Giddings brings up Darius Stewart next up bat Darius Stewart number one here here at bat so our pitching for Giddings is Corbin Doobie So Corbin Doobie at the mound. Darius Stewart at bat. That ball's going to be hit up. Another another high flyer there. Comes over the gate. Over the gate for the foul. It's going to be a ball there. Gonna be another high ball. It's gonna be a another foul on that one. Two balls, two strikes. Be ball number three. Three balls, two strikes. And ball number four is gonna walk. It's gonna walk Darius Stewart. Next at bat, we got number 17, Daniel Alden. Cortinez. Hope I'm not mispronouncing his name. It's 
So here's Daniel, number 17. It's going to be hit. Center field, right around second base. That's going to be out. So a high one's going to be out. Number t Out number two here for Manor Newtech. So two outs. One one man on first base. It's a good way to start the bottom of the first for Giddings. Here we got uh Caden Eastley here at the bay at bat. We strike number one. One strike. Here's the pitch. This is strike number two. Corbin Dewey pitching a, a good first inning. Allowing one walk, one strike out. Excuse me, one out. One walk and one out. Two strikes, two outs. Here it comes. It's gonna be a ball, and he's gonna. Darius trying to steal, and he is safe for the steal. So Darius Stewart able to get the steal to second. Trying to make it happen himself. going to be strike number three and out number three for Giddings. They're going to force us, they're going to force three outs and we're going to go to the second inning with the 5-0 lead for the Buffaloes. Having their way to start this one early. Again, this is Vibe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. What page for Wilson? She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to Vibe, VYPE.com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit. And top of the second here, here on this Saturday afternoon, windy Saturday, Great weather for a baseball game, though. The gate, these are the type of weather situations you live for. So, top of the second. Top of the second, we have 
Holden Jatsu at bat. Matthew Ruiz at the mound. Maybe two balls early. Good pitch, good hit. Ah, he's it's gonna be a, the first, gonna be a hit for a single there by Holden Jatsu. It's gonna be safe for the single. Oh, why is this like? So, hit for the single. Brings in Chase Altman, or 15 for your Giddings. Runner on single. Oh, that's going to be hit for a fly. It's a good line drive on the left field. Here comes Holden Jatsu. Going to come in for the run. And uh, it's going to be a triple there by Altman. What a hit there. It's going to bring him one man home and going to result in the triple for Altman. Bring the score 6-0. Forgetting just a great hit line drive on that left field. And now we have Mr. Home Run here. BU had a home run earlier. See if he can replicate this one here in this second inning. Brought two home on his early home run to start this one off. Gave us the first points of the game and BU Zox. See what he can uh, do here. We're going to have ball number two. It's going to be ball number three, and that's going to bring in a runner home. Altman's going to come in, make it a 7 0 lead. So that's gonna bring it to score to seven zero. Just again, here we got B J. Zock. B J. already with the home run in the first inning. It's gonna be another ball there. Uh, let's see what they're gonna. And they're gonna, yep, they're gonna say ball number four. So it's gonna be a walk here for BJ Zock. So it puts the runner on single, and up comes Blaine Fritcher coming in. We got Matthew Ruiz remaining at the mound. Blaine Fritcher up to bat. 7 0 lead here, top of the second. Low pitch there, Matthew Ruiz trying to trying to get a out for his team here. Just pitches, just I mean, his throws just off the mark to start this one. Oh, there's a str strike. Good pitch by Ruiz there, forcing the the strike. And however, it's going to be B.J. Zock who's going to still to second. So, runner on second.
Elvis gonna be hit straight up. Midfield, Elvis gonna hit the ground, so that they're gonna have an opportunity here. Oh, it'll just be a single, so a good hit there. Good hit there by Blaine Fritcher is gonna for the single. It's gonna have Gonna bring BJ to third. So man on first, man on third. Up and coming is Corbin Doobie, number eleven. Corbin Doobie, throw to first. It's gonna be safe. Could be a strike. Good, good pitch there by Matthew Ruiz. So there's a strike. Gonna be a ball. One ball, one strike. It's gonna be hit. Center field. It's gonna hit the ground. That's gonna bring another runner in. Brings a man in. It's gonna be number 21, BJ. It's gonna come in for the, the run and score. Makes it a 8-0 lead here for Giddings. So makes it an 8-0 lead here for the Buffaloes. Next we got number nine, Bryson Kleiner. Here at bat. Man on second, man on third for the Buffaloes. Looking to extend their lead. It's going to be a ball. Oh, that's going to bring a run in after the miscommunication there. Make it a 9-0 lead. So... Ruiz and Thomas trying to get on the same page here. A couple miscommunications. Just makes it a 9-0 lead for the Buffaloes. It's going to be a hit. And it's going to be a foul ball. Hit and a foul ball by Bryson Kleiner. Gonna be a hit straight down the middle. Could be a catch in and out. Straight down center field. Gonna be caught for the out. Exactly what you need if you are Maynard New Tech here. Trying to force these three outs. We got number seven here, Jacob Marshall. So, the Buffalo's man on third. It's going to be a hit. And see what they're going to call it. It's going to be a foul ball.
One ball, one strike. And miscommunication is going to bring in another run here. Make it a 10 0 lead. Pitch just out the range of, for Thomas. So Jacob Marshall remains at bat. Two balls, one strike. It's gonna be three balls, one strike. Birds chirping all around here at East Metro Park. It's a good turnout. A lot of parents. A lot of parents and family out on a Saturday afternoon. You know, having no work today. And it's going to be ball number four. Ball number four is going to So that brings in Cole Mertink Runner on first Looking to steal She lingers off Thrown the first Oh, forces the out. Or let's go, let's, we got a discussion. Let's see. Let's see what they're gonna call it. Okay, yeah, they're gonna call it a, a out there. So good decision there by Matthew Ruiz to force the stealer. Ca they caught the stealer. <laughs> forced the out for the second out of the inning. So good, a uh, good decision making there by Matthew Ruiz. So two outs, top of the second, one ball. Ooh, that pitch is going to hit the body of number 10. That's going to be a, a forced walk there. So it's going to be a forced walk there for Cole Mertink and brings up Luke Liner up at bat. It's clear skies, slight wind. Again, just the perfect, just about the perfect baseball weather. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, that's going to be a, a, a deep shot. Oh, just not able to get there. And it's going to bring a man. Oh, no, he's going to stop at third. Man, a new team just dives for it. Just unable to get there in time, unfortunately. For the, the right field fly ball. So great hit there by Luke Liner. Liner's hit resulting in a, in a double. So man on second, man on third. Coach is coming to talk.
So coach is talking over, so we'll take a quick pause here in the in the broadcast. Again, this is Vipe Live, presented by Academy. Shelly Beck, Remax hey Gateway you Sports you Wimberley High School. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. VYP. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13 again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. What page the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. We're about ready to get this action continued here at East Metro Park. Buffalo's up 10-0 here in the top of the second against Maynard New Tech. Maynard New Tech uh, going a different pitcher here. Looks to be uh, this looks to be Andrew Cyphers here as new at the pitching at the mound. A little curve on his. On, the, on his pitching style, so a little uniqueness there. So Andrew Cyphers here at the mound. Up at bat we got number two, Holden Jatsu. Be a ball. Three balls, zero strikes. Runner on third, runner on second for the Buffaloes. It's going to be hit up for a fly ball. And it looks like it's going to be a foul. So we got three balls and one strike. As you heard, two two out, two outs here in the top of the second. It's gonna be uh, let's see what. So here we got Chase Altman here for ball number one. Bases loaded for the Buffaloes. Ball.
ball number three. So bases loaded for the Buffaloes. That's a strike there. So good, good pitch there by Andrew Cyphers. Three balls, two strikes. See what Andrews could do here. This would be a big out, man. Bases loaded for the Buffaloes. You need a out here. Need a strike. That's going to be a ball and a walk, and that's going to bring another man home for the Buffaloes. Make the score 11 0 here. Oh, that's going to be a line drive. Going to bring a man home. Might bring two. That's going to bring two runners in there off the line drive toward left field. Gonna bring two runners in to make it 13 0. So good line drive hit there. Brings in two runners home. <clears throat> so two outs here in the top of the second. Blaine Fritcher at the at the plate. Can be a ball number one by Andrew Cyphers. Ooh. Ball number Strike. Pitching a strike there. Two balls, one strike. Hey, line drive, a good hit there. It's gonna bring in here comes Oatman for the for the run in. That's gonna be a single. So Fritz is going to hit the single, but bring another man home. We got a 14-0 lead. So up at bat here for the Buffaloes. Corbin Doobie. Corbin Doobie with a, a good hit. Line drive again toward the right field. Gonna bring a man in for the Buffaloes. So, two outs here. Ball number one. <clears throat> runner on third, runner on first. Hit. And it's going to bring another run home. So a couple consecutive line drive hits here for the Buffaloes. And they're scoring off. They're getting some points off of them. So, man on first, man on second for the Buffaloes. Andrew Seifert remains at the mound. Yeah, number seven, Jacob Marshall here at bat.
gonna be a hit right down the middle of the field. It's gonna. Oh, here we go. We gotta let's see what they do here. Tries to <laughs> tries to go under him, but it's gonna be out. But another run comes in to make it 17-0. But they forced the out, and that's three outs there. As we'll go to the bottom of the second here at East Metro Park. 17 0 lead here. As we go to the bottom of the second. Just want to remind you all, folks, that this broadcast here is brought to you by Academy. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Again, this broadcast is brought to you by our friends at Academy. So make sure to check out Academy. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, VIPE stands above the rest. VIPE can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at VIPE, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, VIPE stands above the rest. VIPE can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at VIPE, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Bottom of the second here at East Metro Park. Buffalo's all over this one. The ball's going to be hit up in the air, and it's going to be uh, caught for an out. What a catch there. Wow, that was, that was amazing. What a catch that was. So early out there. What a diving catch that was. That was spectacular. So here comes Andrew Cyphers, the pitcher. Getting some opportunities here at bat. It's going to be hit up. Hit up and foul ball. It's hit by Cyphers. So we got two strikes, no outs here. Could be a ball. Two strikes, one ball. And that's gonna be a strike three. So quick two quick outs. Two quick outs there. A Corbin Doobie at the mound. Forcing two quick outs to from the bottom of the inning.
ball for that one. Gonna be a strike on that one. That's a hit up there. Good hit there for the line drive up the middle of the field for the single. Good hit there. So that's going to bring us to Alex Silva here at bat. Got two outs here. One, one man on first. Gonna be a ball there by Doobie. <laughs> Strike on that one. Good hit there. Hit. It's going to hit the ground, so it's going to bring a man to first. Good hit by Silva there for the single. So brings a man on first and man on second. So here comes Maynard Newtech trying to get on the board here. Bottom of the second. Brings in number three, Jonathan Maldonado. All number one by Doobie. <coughs> man on second, man on first, remain a new check. Two outs. As a strike. Two balls, one strike. Mal, Malina, Maldonado at the, the bat. Gonna be a foul ball there. So we're gonna have uh, two balls, two strikes. It's gonna be a strike three there, and that's gonna end the second inning. So three strikes, three outs. Gonna take us to the top of the third. Top of the third, this is Vibe Live. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student... Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. 
Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13. Got in another reverse. Breaking tackles. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13 got in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VIPEBYPE.com. Looks like we're just about ready to get the top of the third kick started here. Just a lopsided game thus far. <clears throat> Let me get the score updated for you all. Get everything updated for you. We're at the top of the third here at East Metro Park. 17-0 lead for the Buffaloes. Saturday afternoon. This is Vite Media. Andrew Cyphers here at the mound. Here's the pitch. Yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a flyer there, left field. That's gonna be a deep flyer. Hit by number twenty. And he's gonna get the double. What a hit that was. Good hit there by Tyler Marth. For his first hit at bat so first hit for Tyler Marr it's going to be a great hit toward the left field brings in number 8 that's going to be looks to be Eli Hunt Eli Hunt here at, at bat for the first time today hit for the force the first out of the inning Good heads the play made there by number 19 for Manor New Tech, Caden Eastley. Forced the uh, out. Forced out of the inning. So, ball number one there on the pitch by Cyphers. Again, this is uh, number six, Gabriel Chalmers. Up at bat. Let's uh, see, it's going to be a ball on that one. It's gonna be a strike there by Cyphers. Good pitch. Forces the forces the bat and the miss. Two balls, one strike. Cyphers forced another strike. Good pitch there. Makes it two balls, two strikes. There's a hit, and can he get there? It's 
gonna be out. So East Manor, Manor New Tech forces the the out number two here, the top of the third. Brings in number 15, Chase Altman. Back at bat. Could be ball number one. Ball number two. Gonna be hit up. <laughs> that's gonna hit. That's gonna be hit behind the gate here, into the stands. Ball gets hit behind the gate. Everyone, a bit of a panic. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be a fly ball there. All the way to left field for the home run. Chase Altman's going to bring in the home run. Second home run we've seen today. First by B.J. Zock, and this one's going to be Chase Altman's going to get one left field homer. So there's the homer. Brings a little excitement here by the fans. Makes it 18 0. <clears throat> so, two outs after the home run. Brings to number 34. Let me see. That's going to be a ball there by Andrew Cyphers. So two outs. Be another ball there. Two balls, one. Excuse me, two balls, no outs. No strikes, rather. We ball number three. Uh, excuse me, ball number four is going to force the walk. So, Maynard New Tech has forced two outs here. Trying to get that third one. Andrew Cyphers. Pitch a little wide right for another ball. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hit there. By number 23. And it's going to force the out. There's out number three there. Good decision. Good throw there. Forced the out, and that's going to take us to the bottom of the third inning. Here at East Metro Park. Support. Live live.
for high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe. V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. And we're back here, East Metro Park. Better new tech against the uh, against Giddings High School. It's really been Giddings day today on this Saturday afternoon. It's a beautiful Saturday. At the bottom of the third, Ruiz here at bat. It's gonna first hit's gonna be a fly ball to the right for the foul. <coughs> See, it's going to be a ball there. So, one strike, one ball. It's going to be, let's see what they call there. It's a foul ball. Oh, that's a good hit there by Ruiz. Oh, good catch. Good play made by the outfielder. Good catch there, number six, Gabriel Chalmers. Center field making the good catch to force the out. And it's going to be a ball number one. Got a Darius Stewart here at bat for a Maynard New Tech. Strike number one. Going to be a uh, foul ball there toward the right side. One ball, two strikes. It's going to be a ball, so we. Ball number two. Ball number three. And it's going to be a walk there. Ball number four is going to bring in the, the walk for Darius Stewart. Up next at bat, uh, Daniel Daniel Alden Cortinas. Cortinas. Number 17 here. Had a good hit earlier. Just was caught for the out, but he's been, he's been effective. Two outs. be 
the uh, ball. No strikes. Couple balls there. Gonna be another walk. So Daniel's gonna walk two first. Looks like coach is gonna take a talk take some time to talk to his pitcher. So, Vite Media, bottom of the third, broadcast brought to you by Academy. Make sure to head over to academy.com if you haven't already. Beautiful Saturday here at East Metro Park. They have so many softball and baseball fields here. It's always funny coming to the stadium. I never know which field the game's going to be held on. I have to ask whoever I can find. But uh, luckily today they had a JV JV game right before this one, so I was able to make my way to the right field and get set up fairly quickly and get the broadcast on for you guys. Baseball season for high school sports. No mask mandates for... the players which is which must be nice you know I can't imagine having to play with a mask on us uh, how hot it gets there there's a strike there and strike number two Yeah, mask mandates are so tough for these schools, man, because you have to find, you can only play schools that also require the mandate as well, so it's good for these players, you know, some normalcy. Let's thing is slowly get back to normal. It's going to be a foul ball. There. Here's Duke with the pitch. Hit. And uh, it's gonna be that's gonna be the third out. Nope, excuse me, that, that'll be their second out. They got, they were able to catch up with Daniel on second. So we got Darius Stewart on third base. We go with Braylon Tom, T Braylon Thomas. Excuse me. At bat. So here comes East Manor New Tech. One on third. One on third. One on first. Trying to get a run in. Oh, good hit there by Braylon. Good hit there. It's gonna bring a run in. That's gonna be Darius coming in for the for the score. 
So good score there. Brings a brings a run in. Good hit there by Braylon. Brings up, I believe this is Andrew Cyphers here at bat. See if he can capitalize. Hit. Good hit there. Oh, he's gonna try to go. No, he's gonna he's gonna go retreat back to <laughs> stay on third, but uh, a little momentum swing. Or just a little momentum here for Manor New Tech. Couple good hits and find ourselves bases loaded with Malachi Mathis at bat. So let's see how they can finish this one off. Two outs, and they've sort of hit their stride here at the bottom of the third. So here's Malachi Mathis. It's going to be hit up. It's going to be a foul ball. One, that's going to be another strike there. So two strikes here. Bases loaded. Let's see if he can get just a hit on this one. It's going to be a ball on that one. Malachi hits it up. That's going to be a foul ball. pitch right there. Two balls, two strikes. Malachi at the bat. Corbin Doobie at the mound. Oh, that's going to be a strike for the third strike, and that's going to force it out. So, three strikes there. So, this is Vibe Media. We're getting ready to enter the top of the fourth here at For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Yeah! For the end zone, touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. So here's Andrew Cyphers working on his uh, getting a few pitches in before we start the top of the fourth. Uh, 
Looks like it'll be Corbin Doobie fresh off the mound. Now gonna be pitch. I mean, excuse me, fresh off the mound. Now it looks like he's gonna be here at bat to kick off the top of the fourth. Birds here will not give it a rest. They have been chirping the entire game. They're having a great time. Here's the pitch. Andrew Cyphers. It's gonna be ball number two. Gonna be a foul ball there. So ball two, one strike. Ooh, there's a flyer there. Mid straight down center field. Ooh, that one went some distance and there goes Corbin Doobie for the triple. My goodness, this Corbin Doobie can do it all from from strikeouts to just near home runs. He's a phenomenal player. Gets the tr gets a triple there on the near homer. Brings in Bryson Kleiner here. Ooh, there goes one. Ooh, foul ball. Nearly was able to squeeze that one in there. It's going to be a ball there. One ball, one strike. Ooh, that's going to be a ball off the body. It's going to be a, a walk there. So that's going to be a, a, a automatic walk for Bryson Kleiner. Brings up number 14, Reed Huddleston. First time I bet today. Excited to see what he can bring to the table. Good pitch there by Andrew. Forces the early strike. Strike number two, so consecutive good pitches there. So two strikes. Be a ball there. One ball, two strikes here. Ball number two.
Good hit there. It's gonna force an out. Good play, good good effort there by Maynard Newtek, forcing two quick outs. Still a runner on third there for the Buffaloes, so. So two quick outs. Brings up number 20, Tyler Marth, here at the bat. And that's going to bring a run in. Oh, just couldn't get there in time. It's going to bring a run in. So number 11, Corbin Doobie, who forced the, had the triple earlier, runs in for the homer. comes the pitch. It's going to go to the left of the field. That's going to be a foul ball. And this is Tyler Marth. Had a few opportunities here these past couple innings. Got three balls and one strike. And it's going to be a walk there from Marth. Brings up number eight, Eli Hunt, here at bat. Could be a ball there, and ooh. It's going to be safe. Be a stolen base there from Marth. So runner at runner on second. Two outs. Eli Hunt here at bat. Ball's gonna get soar up and looks like it's going to be a foul ball. I know baseball fans here and all around are excited for the MLB to return. Desire for MLB to come back. So I mean, we got spring training, so that's I know that's uh good for people. Happy to have spring training in the MLB. Ooh, good pitch there. Swing and a miss. Gabriel Chalmers. So yeah, I know everyone's happy to have spring training.
have spring training, the NCAA tournament for both men's and women's. And compared to this time last year, we had no sports. I know we're all just grateful to have something to watch on TV. Because life without sports is not not a, not the best. <laughs> Swing and a miss there, and there's a strikeout by. Good strike there by Andrew Cyphers. Where's the three outs? And we're going to go to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth here at East Metro Park. This is Vibe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE dot com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for fifteen years. Three thirteen. Again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. Sixteen seconds. Really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh my God! It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE dot com. Take a quick break from the commercials here to qu quickly give a shout out to uh, Sponsors Academy. Loyal sponsor. Hope you guys are checking out academy.com today. If you didn't know, for all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Again, that's academy.com. Make sure you're to check them out for all your sports needs. As we get ready for the bottom of the fourth here. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE dot com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313. Again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh my God! It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none. Interrupt that commercial as we get, start off the bottom of the fourth. We start off with number seven here. Uh, looks to be Alex Silva. Alex Silva, excuse me. Here at bat. Looks to be Bryce Doobie. My guy Bryce Doobie. Corbin Doobie, excuse me. At the mound, having a great game. Line drive. And that's going to be a quick out there. So one out. Brings in Jonathan Maldonado. Donato. It's going to be a ball.
Three balls, two strikes. And it's going to be a walk there for Jonathan Maldonado. Be a ball there. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a hit. Ooh, good hit there. By Maldonado. Oh, excuse me, uh, that's Ruiz, excuse me. So good hit there for Ruiz, gets the single. But they're gonna... Up comes... Looks to be Darius Stewart. So here comes Darius Stewart. He's brought in the, the run, the sole run for he's been a new tech today, so... See if he can have some success here. Ball one. It's going to be a stolen base there for number nine. Matthew Ruiz with the stolen base. Yeah, um, I believe it is 4 we got Daniel Alden Cortinas Oh good hit there by Daniel Oh drops the catch and it's going to bring in a run bring in a run there for Cam Pora Oh no 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 excuse me Matthew Ruiz going to bring in the the homer after the butchered catch left field brings in the homer So another good hit there by Daniel Alden Cortinas. He's been a he's been a great he's been having a great night a great day. Good hit there. Ooh, that's going to be a caught for the third out. Catch, and it's going to be the third out. So three outs going to take us to the top of the fifth inning. So we're going to go to the top of the fifth inning here. Score 
19 to 2 for Giddings. We're going to the top of the fourth. Again, this is Vibe Live. Brought to you by Academy. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. What takes the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VibeVYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. And we're back here at East Metro Park, top of the fifth inning here. The dominant performance here by the by the Buffaloes. Top of the top of the uh, fifth inning here, we got Chase Altman, man. He's been he's had a lot of success here at bat today. So interesting to see what he's gonna we, what he has in store here. So top of the fifth, here comes Chase Altman. We have a new pitcher here for the Man of New Tech. The ball there thrown by him is number eight. So ball one. Should be a ball two. Ball three. Chase Altman, another another deep shot. Gonna go for the double, potentially a triple. Yeah, he's going for three. No, he stops in his tracks and oh, they're gonna give him safe. So he's safe with the double. Chase Altman going to that. He favors that left field and exactly where he's he went to there for the double.
brings up number 31, Cameron Page. So here's Cameron Page. Ball one. be a ball high one there three balls no strikes <laughs> ball number four is gonna walk Cameron Page Bringing up number 23, the uh, Caden Bloodworth. First time calling his name today. See what he has ready for him. So, runner on first, runner on second. It's going to be a foul ball. ball. So, two balls. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. There's a hit. Oh, bobbled up. And runner will be safe. Bloodworth will get the first. Oh, no, they're going to rule him out. Okay. So just couldn't get there in time. It's going to be ruled out for the first out. I think with my guy Corbin Doobie. Great pitcher, great phenomenal hitter. It'll be uh, ball number one there. Good pitch there. It's going to be a strike. <laughs> one strike, one ball here. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Runner on third, runner on second for the Buffaloes. It's going to be hit up. My goodness, that ball went high. <laughs> 
safely hit the ground and thankfully thankfully hit the ground safely and so Doobie remains at the at the plate. Be a ball there. We got Chase Altman on third and Caden Bloodworth. No, no, excuse me. It's gonna be a ball. We have Chase Altman on third and looks to be oh Cameron Page on second. Sorry for that, folks. Yeah, that's gonna be another ball and a walk for Bryce Doobie, Corbin Doobie. Excuse me for the walk. Coach is talking it over. Again, folks, I don't have to say it. This broadcast brought to you by Academy.com. Make sure you're checking them out and buying all your sports paraphernalia and sports apparel. Make sure it's from Academy.com. For all your sporting goods and equipment you may need or desire to have academy.com is a perfect website to fulfill your needs so make sure to check them out <coughs> looks like the Looks like Manor New Tech is going to try uh, their fourth pitcher of the game here. They're gonna, looks like they're going to go with uh, Malachi Mathis. He's going to come in and get a few shots here at pitcher. So. Here we go. Let's continue the uh, fifth inning here. My car continues getting a few uh, few warm ups in, and here we go with number nine, Bryson Kleiner. He's gonna come back in, and we got Altman on third. Altman on third. Cameron Page on second. First one's going to be a strike. So good start here for Mathis. So strike one for Mathis and Manor New Tech. It's going to be a ball. Rolled a ball on that one.
Good pitch. Good hit. Good pitch. Better hit. It's gonna bring in a. Uh, gonna bring in Altman for the run in. So good hit there by Bryson. <clears throat> so good hit there. Now bases loaded. As we now have number seven, Jacob Marshall, at bat. Bases loaded. Let's see, we'll see what he can do here. It's going to be a wide left. It's going to be a ball for the first one. So ball one. Ball two. <laughs> two balls, no strikes. Ball three. Ball three, no strikes. Here it comes. Line drive. Oh, just out the reach. Gonna bring in a man. It's gonna bring in Cameron Page for the run in. So Jacob Marshall with the line drive. Toward right field. Gonna bring in Cameron Page for the runner. Up next up bat, we got number twenty. Must be Tyler Marth here back at bat. Swing and a miss. Bases again loaded. Bases remain loaded for the Buffaloes. Gonna be a ball. So ball number two. Base is loaded. The hit straight down the middle, uh, and it's gonna be an out. It's runner safe. So Corbin's gonna get the run in, but that's gonna, they're gonna force an out there. Bring it to two outs. Brings in number eight, Eli Hunt at bat. Bases runner on second, runner on third. Let's see what Eli Hunt has in store. Gonna be a good line, gonna be a good hit. Fly ball to the left side. Gonna bring in two runners home. So two runners gonna come in there. Oh, good hit there. Fly ball. 
toward the left. Uh, it's going to be a foul ball outside the gates. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss for the strike. Two strikes. Could be a ball there. So I'll bring us to one ball, two strikes. Runner on first for the Buffaloes. <coughs> Thought about going to first there and decided not to. He's going to keep it in play. Here's the pitch. Uh, it's going to be ball number two. So we're at two balls, two strikes. Malachi Mathis, the fourth pitcher we've seen here for the Maynard New Tech, so might as well give these guys all some experience, see who they want to go with moving forward. Three balls. Let me see. Uh, three balls, two strikes. Sun starting to show its face. Been a relatively well. No, it hasn't been sunny at all today. So had a little sun earlier. Had a bit of an overcast, and sun starting to show its face here. As we near 3:30 Central Time here at East Metro Park, we get three balls and two strikes. Ooh, that's, that's going to be a deep fly ball. Midfield. Center field and caught for the out. And that'll be three outs there. So, man, New Tech able to get their defense off the field and force three outs. And which will take us at Vite Media to the bottom of the fifth at East Metro Park. This is Vibe Live. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe. V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Yeah, for the end zone, touchdown Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left, it is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. So, getting ready to start off the bottom of the fifth. <clears throat> bottom of the fifth, we have number 16, Braylon Thomas. 
Ready at bat. Buffalo's huddled up. And yeah, it looks like we're just about we're ready to get it going now. Again, Thomas Braylon at the at bat. Familiar face Corbin Doobie at pitcher. Had a good game. Great pitch there on the, on the first uh, early strike. Ball on that one. One strike, one ball. Corbin Doobie. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. So strike out there for Corbin Doobie. Brings in number 11, Andrew Cyphers. Saw him at pitcher uh, for a couple innings here. So strike one. Strike number two. Corbin Doobie starting to get into his bag here. Oh, that's a good hit there. That's going to go backwards for the foul, however. <coughs> One ball, two strikes. Call that rule that another ball there. Oh, there's a hit there by Cyphers. Gonna be a fly ball caught for the second out of the inning. Brings up Malachi Mathis been all over the field today too serving as pitcher and as well Ooh, good hit by Malachi Mathis there oh it just caught it's gonna be fly ball caught and ruled out and I think they're gonna call the game on that one Ladies and gentlemen, so they're going to call ball game on that one. Your final score here. 24-2. Getting Buffalo's complete control over this one. On this Saturday afternoon. To all the listeners and everyone who's stayed around and listened to the stream in, in, in its entirety, thank you for tuning in. My name is David West. Glad to call this one for Vite Media. Again, brought to you by Academy. And we'll see you soon. Have a good rest of your day.